Austin City Council is set to make a major decision about a possible commuter rail line between Georgetown and San Antonio. Yeah, the idea of this Lone Star Rail has been around for a decade, but today City Council will vote on funding that and what it would mean to keep the project moving forward. Kate Whitehall's live in downtown Austin at the Amtrak station with your details. Good morning. Good morning. You know, this would be one of the 16 proposed stops along the 120 mile rail line. It will utilize the current Union Pacific rail line that you see there behind me. And today, City Council will decide if property tax dollars can be diverted to a fund that would help operate Lone Star Rail for decades to come. Now, here's a map that details those stops, which would happen in Round Rock, the Domain, South to Slaughter Lane, and Kyle and Buda, just to name a few. The four car train would look something like this and is proposed to have 32 trains running a day, seven days a week between Georgetown and San Antonio. Now the cost tops $2 billion because the project would not only upgrade the current rail line, but they would have to build a new rail line for Union Pacific to run its trains on. Today, City Council will vote on putting 50% of property tax revenue from areas zoned about a half mile around the proposed rail stations into a fund for Lone Star Rail. It's not a tax increase. It's not an increase in taxes on the city or the people in those zones or an, an additional fee. It's just value that's created over the next 20 to 30 years. Some of it due to the presence of the rail station. Half of that will go to support the operations and maintenance of the rail district that the train's operating. And the Lone Star Rail has already entered into similar agreements with San Marcos and the Austin Community College District. But in order to use this money, which is projected to generate about $800,000 a year from Austin, the rail would have to get Hayes and Travis counties on board with this same tax agreement within two years and within six years have a full capital funding campaign in place along with an agreement with Union Pacific. Otherwise, all of the parties can take their money back. Coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to talk about where the rest of this funding could come from to fund this $2 billion project and what the folks at the Lone Star Rail District say could happen if City Council votes down today's tax agreement. For now, we're live in Austin. Kate Wydaw, KXAN News. All right, Kate, thank you. It's